appearing before her carefully selected audience of very nice women only, it's the nicest of them all, Dame Edna Everett! <laughs> and they all say they would have written sooner. But their <laughs> hands are still stinging from clapping. <laughs> and that's even from people who haven't got television. They just sit there, they know I'm on, and they just clap all by themselves. <laughs> oh, and also, they asked me about this beautiful carpet. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> it, it's lovely, isn't it? Of course, on my first award-winning show, it was just plain canary or custard yellow. <laughs> and then a poor woman, poor little mite, had a terrible accident. <laughs> it was that splodge there, I think. <laughs> completely ruined it. And then some bright spark, oh, I think it was me, as a matter of fact, <laughs> came up with a priceless idea of getting other women to have terrible accidents <laughs> at regular intervals all over the... <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous, bold and effective? <laughs> You standing by, please, darling. Stand by with a respirator and the jump leads. In case my audience gets a little bit overexcited, we may see what wonderful prizes can be won on David Edna's neighbourhood watch. First prize, the holiday of a lifetime aboard the Sea Line 200 Seater. <laughs> Moisturising, so help yourself to a lifetime supply of juicy Nivea creams. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> oh, how about a romantic four-star candlelit dinner for two in a top revolving restaurant all alone with a fascinating mystery companion? <laughs> or just settle for 20 sessions with Dame Edna's personal trainer, Roxy Roberto. <laughs> He's a bit of a hand. He's a bit of a handful, but he's gorgeous. <laughs> Quite a handful, as a matter of fact. But it's time to pick my contestants with my beautiful purple possum picker. <laughs> Look at this lovely Gladdy. It's a magic one, too. And he's looking for my little victor, my little contestants. He seems to be moving over here. Jackie, stand up, Jackie, darling. You're picked, my darling. You are! <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing at, darling, because you're picked as well! Yes! Yes! Stand up! Stand up! What's your name? Enid. You don't look like an Enid, Enid. You call yourself Enid, do you? Plus other names. <laughs> <laughs> You're delightful, Enid. But my purple possum picker is taking me somewhere else. It's taking me over here. It is. It's it's taking me to you. <laughs> what is your name? Hello. Oh, my name's oh, Leslie. Leslie, stand up, little Leslie. Leslie, you're gorgeous. Come with me, my darling. Come with me, girls. Just Leslie. Oh, with the black skirt, the lovely black hair, the pretty earrings, and the lovely little blouse. Well, what Leslie doesn't know is that this is not a game show about homes. This is a game show about one home. Her home! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? Now, in two minutes, we're going inside there because my live TV camera is on the doorstep right now. Isn't that spooky? Are you there, Trevor? Look! Before you can say knife, the whole world via satellite is going to have a snoop around Leslie's home. 
Are you snoop in a sponge bag, snoop in a hoover bag, everywhere? <laughs> what a lucky woman! Here they come. Keep your eyes on Leslie. My contestants! Microphone's not hurting. Fine. No. There's a little discomfort sometimes at first. <laughs> but, you know, that's quite normal. Once the microphone has been inserted, it's happened. <laughs> now we're going to play... Got the buzzers ready, girls? We're going to play Whose Home Is This or Who Lives Here? A simple game. Lovely warm-up. If you know the answer or think you do, press your buzzer. Yes. Is that the objects are guess each other's? No, 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 just guess, please, darling. Did you hear me? Did you... <laughs> Show, I think. <laughs> Look at the screen. If you think you know who lives there, press the buzzer. Oh. I'll ask you. All right, darling. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of people live or work here? Royal thing. <laughs> I don't think so. You think it's Buckingham Palace? No, do I don't. You? Think so. <laughs> Members of Parliament. Well, I didn't say you could have two goes, Leslie. <laughs> you're a little bit greedy, but you're gorgeous. <laughs> and we want you to have a lovely evening tonight. <laughs> Who lives here? Yes. The cast of Brookside. Oh, do they? Well, they may. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> they could or they couldn't. Who cares? <laughs> now, this is a little bit more difficult. <laughs> Who lives there? My husband lives there. No. <laughs> Correct you in the first round this way! Wonderful! Over here, sit there. <laughs> Brilliant! Now, darling, in round two, we go inside. <laughs> because I have a live TV camera outside your home now, Leslie. Say hello to Trevor. Trevor, I'm going to lead you up your garden path. And look, who's going to answer the door, do you think? Who? Good heavens! It's Mary Joseph, my bridesmaid. She's screaming at the mouth, too. What's the matter? I think she's rabid. Slap her face, Trevor. Slap her face. What's... Oh. Oh, she's cleaning her teeth. Well, Mary, you shouldn't be doing that. Go into the bathroom and do it, please. Whose toothbrush is that, by the way? I think she's oh, using she your... It's your toothbrush! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to have a vicious attack. I'm not. I'm not. I nearly did at the thought of a man using your... <laughs> <laughs> Corner there and see what lurks. What's that room through there? Let me have a look in there, please. Trevor, quick sticks. That's lovely. What's that up there on the top? What's that? Thing? What's that? That's flowers, dried flowers. A dry, a dried yeah, arrangement. arrangement. I'd forgotten about dried arrangements. I have. <laughs> That's lovely. Thank you. Look at all your lovely knickknacks you've made. That. Oh, and look at the tiles. They're a bit chunky, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely texture. You could. Well, you could buff off your calluses on them, couldn't you? <laughs> or great cheese or something of that kind. <laughs> Why am I telling you? You've probably been doing that for years, Leslie. <laughs> What's in that? What's that? That is my bread bin. Your bread bin, is it? It doesn't say oh, bread on it. No, no. You know those people who have the names of things written on everything? Like mixing bowl on the mixing bowl. <laughs> butter dish on the butter dish, or honey on the honey, or nuts on the nuts, or the big bag. I can't stand those people. I can't. I remember that we had to have labels all over our place once when my mother, just before she went into the twilight home, we had to label everything because, you know, my mummy had a little tiny touch of Alzheimer's. She did. She did. It wasn't called Alzheimer's then. I can't remember what it was called. <laughs> what am I talking about? Where am I? Who the dickens are you? Oh, oh Leslie, thank goodness you've got a 
libel. <laughs> Let's have in the TV room, please, Madge. Quick fix. Is it this lovely exploring this gorgeous home? Oh, yes, there's is Trevor. this? Is, there's Trevor's feet there. You've done it beautifully. And what's in the... There's a room through there, isn't there? Yes. What's the adjacent room? Dining room. Dining room. Have you done that up nicely? No, I've started, but I haven't got too far with it. Not too far. No. We'll have a little peep at it, if we may. A little peep in the... <laughs> secret, my darling, because, you know, London Zoo is breaking up and they're sending all the animals. <laughs> well, they've asked for people to billet the animals and I thought you, with your love of animals, would look after the Thank sheep. You. I thought you were. They've been evacuated to your home. As a matter of fact, some of them are still evacuating. They are. As we speak. Uh, they arrived at your home from the zoo with some baboons, I'm afraid. And I said, no way, Jose. Leslie looks like a woman who could handle a herd of sheep and I defer <laughs> <laughs> I diverted the baboons to your place, Enid. <laughs> Lovely, and I'll get on well with your dogs, those baboons. Oh, I will. As a matter of fact, I think that's putting it mildly. I don't know what the cross between an Alsatian and a baboon looks like. Oh. <laughs> You'll know soon enough, I think, Enid. You will. Your old, your old Ben. You know that lovely dog of yours, Ben. He'll be Not quite excited. <laughs> He'll be excited by those rainbow oh, bottoms. I think. <laughs> well, where are we? Keep your eyes peeled. Did you keep your eyes peeled, girls? Yes. Well, I've got some questions now. Isn't this exciting? Oh. <laughs> Sheep will be thrilled when you come home. <laughs> what is the total number of dried arrangements in Leslie's home? Jackie, four. Four. <laughs> Sixteen, oh. right? Oh. I think so. I think they've been eaten by the sheep by now. <laughs> How many happy barbars are feeling safe and warm in Leslie's dining room? <laughs> Jackie? Twenty. How many are in your dining room? About fifty. Forty-nine! <laughs> 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 and here's a practical question about stains. <laughs> How do you get sheep smudges off wallpaper? <laughs> One, with borax. Two, with vinegar and brown paper. Three, with a stiff wire brush. Stiff Edith? wire brush. No, I'm sorry. Bar lamb stains on wallpaper are, I'm afraid, permanent. <laughs> <laughs> well, finally, what should Leslie be doing during the next commercial break? <laughs> cleaning her house. <laughs> no, we all know the answer. I know the answer anyway. She should say her prayers because in a moment we're going... average in the driving seat, of course, with my new best friend, Leslie, in the hot seat. Have you been saying your prayers? Because now we're going up your stairs! Where's Madge, Trevor? Where is Madge? She seems to be there. Find Madge, would you, Trev? Oh, she's watching TV. Look, she's riveted by something. What is that? What is that? Cynthia, didn't That's you? That's right. Yes, I did. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> I love that. That's a favourite of mine. And a lot of people 
even tried to clean loves that. And so, <laughs> so does Mother Teresa, as a matter of fact. She tries to do the exercises. Anyway, stop, please. Stop trying to distract us from Leslie's nice home. Please stop. Because it's time to go up the stairs. Come on, quick sticks. Are you going up that staircase? I notice you haven't stripped the staircase. No. No. Well, the stripping has to stop sooner or later, doesn't it? A woman has to know when to stop stripping, I think. <laughs> What's that? Oh, a table. It's a frock you've recycled into a table, isn't it? <laughs> you could recycle that little blouse into a table if you wanted to, couldn't you? In fact, you could go to a fancy dress party as a table. <laughs> you just get on your hands and knees with a bit of gingham over you and a dried arrangement in the small of your back. <laughs> In fact, your husband could crouch over you and you, <laughs> you could go with a nest of tables. <laughs> you could. Oh. Well, into the bathroom, please, Matt. Into the bathroom. Oh, that's nice. No windows. Are... Oh. Put <laughs> the paper around it. Do you normally put paper on your toilet seat? No, no I think that's Madge. Of course, I trained Madge to put paper on the seat. Not that she would hope to pick up anything yucky in your home, but she is, I'm afraid, very, very slightly contagious, Madge. <laughs> <laughs> it's better to be safe than sorry, Leslie. You wouldn't want, no, you wouldn't want to get what Madge has got. She'd be, be at yourself all the time. Anyway. <laughs> got a weighing machine next to the bidet. That's a nice idea. You can sit there and weigh your left leg, can't you? <laughs> you can. May I see the bath, please? Oh, that's lovely, too. There are holes in the bath. Yes. What are they? It's jacuzzi. Oh, it's a jacuzzi. How beautiful. <laughs> it is. The spa bath is lovely. At least you don't have to lie face down on the bidet with all those little... <laughs> Again, just a quick peep, if we may we? <laughs> Thank you so much. A quick peep in the wardrobe, please. Just to see how neat you are, Leslie, as I'm sure you are, too. Very nice in there. Oh, it's quite compact. The pretty frocks. What's that up there on the top? Oh, no, it looks... So you reach out for your husband's pepper pot. There's nothing, <laughs> nothing unusual about that at all. Well, girls, did you keep your eyes open, possums? Are you ready? Yes. Enid? <laughs> Look at her, you're having a mild nervous breakdown, Enid. <laughs> Does Leslie eat in bed? Yes. Well, according to the pepper pot, yes. yes. Do you? Yeah. She does. She likes a snack in bed. Good. At last, you scored a point. <laughs> bath in, including the plug hole oh. five six six seven but you're close and your results are so pathetic <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm going to give you another one darling Thank you. you can forget however about that beautiful speed boke and the Nivea and even Roberto yes. I'm afraid okay. all you can salvage now is your self-respect <laughs> is there a magazine rack in Leslie's bathroom yes yes Jackie, is there? Yeah, there is. is. What a lovely idea. There's a hint for viewers. A lot of people take notes while they're watching this. <laughs> Has Leslie done any stripping upstairs? Yes. Where? On the hallway. In the hallway? The stairs. Doors. The doors, correct, yeah. Enid. <laughs> Enid, you're coming up fast. <laughs> Look at Now, a final question. Look at the big screen. Which of these delightful base lying men let us and a flock of sheep into Leslie's house? <laughs> Which one is she married to? Number two. Enid? Number three. You were going to say number three. <laughs> <laughs> well, little Rolf Harris has been accused of many things, but bigamy is not one of them. <laughs> so, Jackie, a point to you, darling. Isn't this exciting? Well, I think it's about time we had a look at that lovely man who's told us all about you. Let's meet Tony!
deserve a little break because the sheep have completely taken over your home. <laughs> so here in this little folder with my glasses on it is a beautiful weekend in Madrid, all paid for, airfares, hotel, money to spend. Have a lovely time. <laughs> Thank you for having me at your place. <laughs>